smart remarks. So by now, you've probably heard the rant. This is America. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage? That's Rick Santelli of CNBC on the floor of the Chicago Board of Trade February 19th, railing against President Obama's plan to help bail out homeowners facing foreclosure. And he is outraged! He is outraged! Because the Obama plan subsidizes the losers. The who? The her. Now, I'll tell you what. It was a great rant, and people are talking about it for that reason. But some people seem to think it represents something more. Some seem to think it represents the will of the people. And indeed, one pundit even went on Fox News to say that Santelli represents a populist backlash to Obama's policy. And I thought, populist backlash? It's the exact opposite. This is anti-populism. The last place I'm ever going to live or work is D.C. You know, is Rick Santelli really representative of real America? Real America with a median household income of about $50,000? Does Santelli fall into that category? Do the traders in the Chicago pit? Or is real America the people who are in trouble with facing forced closure, people who maybe lost their job, people whose homes are maybe worth significantly less than what they paid for it? Ah, but that real America in Santelli's world can go take a hike. The dirty masses, the filthy rabble come with their hands out. You know what? Let them eat cake. Let them drink Chicago tea. We're thinking of having a Chicago tea party in July. What kills me is that guys like Santelli seem to think the rabble is just going to, you know, melt away. In their Randian world of winners and losers, the losers learn their lessons and come back wiser, eager only to win. I think they come back wanting something more. In this economy, we got a lot of losers. We got a lot of people whose retirement was worth X last year, but is now worth Y. We got a lot of people whose homes are underwater and who could lose those homes. They're just going to melt away? Or are they going to rail against a society that calls them losers? Are they going to try to take some sort of revenge against that society and its winners? This is what your anti populists don't get. <laughs> Financial crises like the one we're experiencing right now have, throughout history, caused not just pain, but social dislocation, violence, even revolution. You try to mitigate the pain specifically to mitigate the social disorder. But your anti-populists say, to heck with that, and to heck with those real Americans. Government must not force us to be our brother's keeper. Well, I tell you what, you better hope the losers melt away. Because if not, the winners might be in a whole lot of trouble.